Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to again talk on our not new topic and that is of linear equation in one variable. This is our part 2 and I am going to be very excited in this video because we had came on our Android that is of mobile phone not my PC is used in this video nowadays I will up, I will make sure that the video should be up uploaded in the YouTube channel so uh, let's start this video before that I would like to tell you that in our first part linear equation in one variable video in that uh, uh, you all had given me much likes and uh, also the views had came very nicely so I meant that we should learn the furthermore also so let's do the linear equation in one variable part 2 so uh, we had came back so let's get started in this video we are going to solve some questions and also 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 I am going to give you also questions to solve it because practice is needed regularly to learn the subjects, to learn the topics, to learn the full gram, mathematical, everything. So we need practice in the maths. And this is of course a topic related to the maths and we need to learn it. So we have to revise it, we have to practice it so that you can also understand it. And here I am going to give you some questions. Also I am going to solve it. I know whether there are, we can't solve many questions. But here every mathematical sums and the signs are available. So it is very easy for us to solve. So let's start with our first question. We had already done our part 1 in which we learn about the equations how to solve the equation what are linear equation so those who have not watched this the video of part 1 you can directly check out my youtube channel or the link is given in the description box you can see there and also click on the link and you will get that video so today we are going to do some examples so our first example is what should be added what should be added to twice the rational number to twice the rational number it is very easy for us to type also and i think you all are visible it clearly also comment down that uh, which would you like very much nicely uh, my on mobile phone or on the laptop on my pc directly comment down that which videos which i had made earlier or now which i am posting is really nice which one type on the comment section so a uh, rational number minus 7 by 3 so we have what should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get the answers which is 3 by 7 yes it is very easy to write the questions yeah now we could write the answer. How, what is the question's meaning? First we have to learn that. What should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7? Here the question is that what should be added? One word is that which will be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3. Then we will we'll get the answer what? So 3 by 7 will we get as the answer. We have to find the number which would be added. So first... We have to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3. So let's try this. Twice means 2. Okay. And thrice means 3. So let's try this. Then what would be the answer? 2 into this sign is equal to into. But uh, for nice A, I will write this only. So 2 into 2 into minus 7 by 3. My 7 by 3 by solving this sums I know clearly that there is going to be this is going to be long video is equal to what would be the answer 2 into minus 7 by 3 is minus 14 by 3 14 okay 
So here we get the answer. First our thing is over that 2 into 7 by 3 minus 7 by 3 will be minus 14 by 3. So our second step is we have to suppose that that number is suppose that number is what is x. Okay, uh, uh, we are thinking that that number is added. So x is added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7. So our equation is formed now. I um, I would not, uh, that equation sign I can't able to do. I am using this here as an equation sign. Don't worry everyone. You all know about the equation sign you can also check out my previous video in that i had given also about the equation sign or in uh, i would like to tell you in the i will tell already so here x number this uh, we had supposed that the number is x so x plus here minus 14 by 3 so we are adding this number and what would we will get? We will get 3 by 7. So this is the equation, final equation. You have to do right now this. You can firstly force solve this equation. So directly there is x plus minus 14 by 3 by is equal to 3 by 7. How to interchange that is also given in our previous video. So check out firstly because it is very necessary to learn how the equation we can solve. So minus 14 by 3 will become into interchange it then it will become into plus 3 by 7. 3 by 7 plus 14 by 3 we had changed the minus into plus. Then what will the answer? Take the LCM. LCM you have to take it. And the LCM will be 21. So 3 into 3 will be 9 and 14 into 7 will be 98. Now the answer, the final answer will be, the final answer that is 107 by 28. No, 21, sorry. 107 by 21 will be, you can see that 9 plus 98, 107 and the LCM will be 21. So 107 by 21 is added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7. So let's go with our second sum. So our next question is the perimeter of rectangle is 13 cm and its width, width is 11 by 4 cm. Find its length. So, I think everyone should know what is parameter of rectangle. If you did not know, you can type on the comment section and I will think about it and I will make my video on this too or in my furthest. Okay, so we have to take that the length here not given. Here given that the parameter of rectangle is 13 cm and its width, width means breadth. Okay, it's 11 by 4 cm. So first of all, I would like to tell you the formula. So perimeter of rectangle, perimeter of rectangle is equal to two two L. Sorry, actually I can't type. Two uh, L. Here is a bracket means two into L. Okay, two into L plus B. So this is the formula parameter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. So here breadth is not breadth is given, length is not given. So what you can do that here parameter of rectangle is already given. So we have to suppose that the perimeter, the length of the rectangle is you can suppose any number I am supposing here as a E. Okay. So here I am supposing that the number the length is a okay i am supposing if you are supposing any number so you have to already uh, show that which number are you taking okay so as per the formula we will do so what you have to do now i am not writing this in brief but you have to mention mention everything in your exams so here two bracket here length we had supposed that it is a so we will write A only and B here we had already get that 
11 by 4. Okay, so 2 by 8 plus 11 by 4. And the perimeter we had taken is 13 centimeter. So what you have to do is equal to first, the uh, sorry, the equation sign first. Equation sign, they will take this like. And what is the equation that 13 centimeter, 13 centimeter is equal to 2 e plus l 11 by 4 yes so how it came you can arrange perimeter of rectangle is given 13 centimeter and the formula is 2 l we had taken a and b we had taken 11 by 4 so now what you could take you have to interchange the numbers before you could interchange you can write that equation sign So, 13 centimeter, 13 centimeter is equal to 2 into A. What would be the answer? 2 into A. Yes, 2A. Okay, 2A plus, so 2 into L by 4. 2 into L by 4 will be 22 by 4. Okay, yes. 22 by 4. So here the equation has came. Now you have to interchange it and make it answer. The another method you can use that is you can also interchange the numbers from 2a plus 11 by 4. I will show you by writing 2a plus here 2 sorry 2 bracket a plus 11 by 4 bracket over is equal to 13. You can interchange first only. Now what will be the answer? 2a. So what you have to write that that 2 will change into 13. So 13 by 2. So a plus 11 by 4 is equal to 13 by 2. x is equal to 13 by 2 minus 11 by 4. x means a only. Okay. Then a is equal to what will be answer? We have to take the LCM 2 and 4 that is will be 4 and we will get the answer. Yes, we will get the answer. So you have to write in the comment section also what is the answer. You can check now also. Your answer will be 15 by 4. Yes, the 15 by 4 will be the answer. So what is the length of the rectangle? It is 15 by 4. Here is our sum is over and now I would like to give you some questions as a homework or as to revise. If you can, you could or you can type in the comment section the answers. So guys, a new thing now only I thought that why should we could give you homework? You already have to practice it. If you can, you could. So you can check out also the questions. You have to watch the boy favorites video also. The video is quite going too much long. So I would like to end my video right now. Hope you like this video too. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. Clap, press the bell icon to show the notifications. And also of the new video. Like my YouTube channel. And thus I am ending here.